All right, thank you for joining media. We'll hear from GM and head coach Derek Fisher, Erica Wheeler, and Bria Holmes this evening. We'll start with Brady Cloffer with SB Nation. Derek, I promise I'm not trying to bait you into any fine here or anything, but uh, how difficult is it to to find a rhythm in the fourth quarter with the way the whistle was being called? And it just seemed like every play was getting stopped on both ends of the court. How hard is it for you to find rhythm there? Yeah, I mean, it's tough. But, you know, I, I think that, um, you know, tonight, uh, you know, Phoenix, you know, created that type of environment tonight. Like they, they were the team that, came out to start um, the game and, and brought the force and the intensity and, and the competitive spirit to the game. Uh, and so, you know, that's what happens when, when you let the other team set that tone first. So then, um, you know, I felt like and in most situations, like the, the officials are going to kind of react to the aggressor uh, a lot of times. Um, so we ended up kind of being the one that were reacting to things as opposed to like setting the tone. Um, so yeah, you know, in that fourth quarter, it, it definitely was, was tough to get some, some rhythm going, but you know, we, we didn't have much rhythm, you know, most of the night. Like I, I thought we, we allowed ourselves to get frustrated mentally, emotionally, um, just not as much popping energy and what we were trying to get done. And, you know, I, I, I have to do a better job of just making sure we're, you know, we're, we're more ready. Um, and, you know, we'll keep having to find ways, you know, as, as we're navigating, um, you know, how to get this done with, with our current group. Go to Chris Camello with Nightcast Media. Hey, Coach. Uh, obviously, uh, uh, tough loss uh, Tough loss tonight. But uh, how much did the foul trouble impact um, how, how you guys were able to play defense? Because Skyler Diggins, Turner, uh, Griner, at different moments of the game, they were all able to have success. So, uh, how did that? How did just the foul trouble in general just impact the game, especially just being shorthanded as you guys are? Yeah, it, it impacted the game a great deal. Like I, I, um, I, sh I should have been tighter on um, Amanda's, you know, foul situation in the first quarter. Um, you know that the third foul just popped up super quick, um, and um, you know I was get got her out of the game basically too late in that situation. So, um, you know, that that's on me there, um, you know, and, and just over the course of the game again, like that, you know, you have to give them credit for bringing that to the game tonight. You know, they, they went back and watched the video as well. Um, you know, they saw where they could have played harder or with more force. I thought they played with more pace um, offensively. You know, they made some adjustments uh, in, in a couple areas, but ultimately, the you know they they won the game because they came out and played harder and, and were more competitive um, right from the beginning. And uh, you know we just never could really catch up and and uh, you know get, get a feel for how to slow them down. Amna Subban with the LA Daily News. Hey, Coach. Obviously, tough loss tonight. Um, if we can sort of jump forward a little, talking about Sabrina Ionescu, and, and um, obviously she's had a, a very close relationship with the Bryant family, as have you. What impact have you um, seen her have on, on the family um, as they've gone through a pretty tough time in the last year? Um, I, I'm not, no, I, I definitely want to answer your question. Will, will you be around pregame on Sunday? Oh, yes, yes. Okay, I, I can I can give you a better answer to, to that question Sunday morning. Um, so definitely ping me again on that one, and I'll I'll, I'll be in a, a a better place to like focus on uh, New York Sunday. I just hadn't thought much about um, you know New York and Sabrina until until this game ended. Thank you though. Megan Hines with the swap report. Hey, Derek, even in this um, tough loss, Bria Holmes, she played the most minutes tonight. You just talk about her presence in the game and just taking with the possessions at times and her scoring as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, Bria's, uh, you know, starting to find some rhythm to um, her game on the offensive end. Uh, you know, she does a lot of good things for us defensively as well with her length and her size and, um, you know, 
it's unfortunate we couldn't, you know, kind of reward a lot of her effort with with uh, a better game tonight as a team. But um, you know, she she's doing a lot of good things, and hopefully, uh, you know, she can maintain that 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 effort and and continue to find ways to put the ball in the basket to go along with, you know, the impact that she has on us on the defensive end. Two more tonight. We'll go to Ethan Sands of the LA Times. All right, Coach Derek. So going into the game, knowing that BG is going to be in the paint, how, what was your mindset and what was your goal for your guards and especially Erica Wheeler to get to the basket? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I thought that, you know, similar to Wednesday night, like we, we tried to, um, you know, between ball movement and player movement, good spacing. Um, you know, we, we had some opportunities that we that we didn't convert on, but, you know, I, I think Phoenix was, uh, you know, they, they were more tightly wound together on the defensive end in terms of what they were trying to accomplish. Um, but we, you know, because we weren't playing with the same uh, amount of speed and pace and, and assertiveness offensively in terms of getting into the, the paint the way we did Wednesday night, um, you know, it, it, it impacted our game. So, um, you know, she does a good job, you know, clogging the paint and, and being long and big around the basket, but we, we, we didn't do as good a job of um, of attacking and exposing that the way uh, that we're capable of. And so, um, again, you have to give, you know, Phoenix credit for, you know, getting the job done tonight. And, uh, you know, we, we have to move on to the next one. Last question for Derek. We'll circle back to Brady. Derek, I have, I have just two quick questions here. Um, the first is, you kind of answered this in your last question there, but can you identify anything that that made the offense struggle tonight after what I thought was probably your, your best offensive game of the year on Wednesday? Uh, and then just second second game in a row with Arella and Christine out here after the game, getting in some shots and drills. What does that mean to you as a coach to see that? Um, yeah, I mean, the first question, I, like, uh, yeah, I thought we just, we, we didn't have like a, you know, there wasn't a burst, um, you know, to what we were doing offensively. Like we, we had some decent opportunities, um, but I, 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 you know, we, we just didn't meet the level of like energy and force that this game was going to require. And I, and I thought, you know, in, until, you know, having a chance to go back and look at it and, and, and maybe be a little more specific on certain possessions. Um, you know, we just, we couldn't, we didn't attack them. It's like we were, you know, we were playing, but we weren't going at them um, as much. And, and, but again, I think they deserve the credit for that. Like they, uh, I just think they were more aggressive and, and uh, they, they play with more fight, you know, right at the start. And we were playing uphill, you know, the rest of the way. Um, as far as, you know, Christine and Norella, like they're, they're both, um, you know, hard workers, um, you know, so, and, you know, we, we, we always want, you know, those kind of players, uh, you know, here with what we're trying to build. Um, you know, I think for, you know, tonight was a lesson, you know, for our young players though, as they continue to figure out how to be successful in this league is, um, you know, you can't rest on what you accomplished, you know, two nights ago. Um, you know, every time you touch the court, you have to be ready to go. And, um, you know, we found out, you know, how, how hard that is, you know, tonight uh, to be able to come back and do that. So, you know, whether it's staying after games, coming early before practice, but at the end of, you know, that process, you know, ultimately, you know, it has to carry over into the game. And um, if you put the work in, that'll eventually happen. So, you know, uh, you definitely want players that are willing to put that work in, and, and, and I think both of them are. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. All right, media, please put your – please raise your hand in the chat for questions for Bria Holmes and Erica Wheeler. We'll start with Brady Klopper with SB Nation. Erica, what do you see as the biggest difference between this game and Wednesday's game? Wednesday, I thought, was maybe, as a team, your best offensive performance of the year, and then obviously some offensive struggles tonight. What was the difference in your eyes? 
Um, energy level, I think we'll step behind. And Phoenix just wanted it more tonight. Um, they definitely wanted it more. You can tell by the pace, the way they moved the ball. So, um, yeah, they definitely wanted it more than we did. We was definitely a step behind. Ethan Sands of the LA Times. Uh, so I wanted to ask, how did you guys go into the game with what kind of mindset trying to get into the paint and trying to have, use everything against BG that she had against you guys? Um, our mindset is always to get in the paint. You know, great things happen when we get into the paint. Um, they switched up the, the coverage a little bit. It was going under and leaving BG back. You know, and um, we tried to rescreen and try to see what we can get out of it. But um, like I said, we were a step behind. You know, we were a little bit slow on reading things. And like I said, it just executed and moved the ball well and, and made baskets. And they just wanted it more. I don't think we wanted it any less. They just, you know, shoved it on our throat a little bit more today. Chris Camello, Nightcast Media. <laughs> Hey guys, um, yeah, obviously a, a tough loss tonight. Uh, Bria, though, you continue to make strides, uh, you know, pushing forward 11 points tonight and knocked down three threes, played some really good defense, got some deflections. Do you, uh, you know, Derek thought, you know, your effort should have been rewarded better with, with a win tonight, but just talk about your progress from where you started uh, 10 games earlier to where you are now. It's got to feel good to know that you're pushing forward. Um, just the confidence building, you know, um, putting in extra work um, with my coaches, um, having confidence from my teammates and coaches as well. So, you know, just doing the extra stuff and doing the little things just to get better each and every day, each and every game, and in practice as well. So, you know, just doing that, I think alone um, is helping me, and, you know, I'm just going to keep progressing. Go to Amanda Skurlock with the LA Sentinel. Um, could you both talk to me a little bit about um, Brittany Sykes' performance during this game? She got um, five rebounds and 14 points. Um, Brittany is our energy boost. You know, I tell you, they definitely bring a lot of energy in. She's going to play hard every night, no matter what. And we know that Sykes is going to crash the board. She's going to protect the rim as a guard as well. And I think she was super aggressive on offense tonight. You know, she's building her confidence every game, every practice, just shooting that pull-up jumper that, Nobody can really block because she shoot at the peak of her shot. So, you know, definitely proud of her, how she approached the game, just with just having that willpower to just, you know, score and then rebound the ball as well. A uh, question in the chat here from Rafiq Lewiston. How do you plan to bounce back Sunday against New York Liberty? Just <laughs> became focused, um, you know, go over our scout for them and, you know, just, you know, come back together and, you know, fix the things that we needed to fix tonight. And, you know, I think we should be good. Uh, time for one more. We'll go back to Ethan Sands with the LA Times. So, Erica, can you just describe what it was like going up against uh, Skyler and you guys having a kind of both very physical and very athletic mindsets? I mean, I've been playing against Skylar since AAU. I know how she plays. Um, we're actually good friends, so it's a competitive nature. So she's not going to back down from me. I'm not going to back down from her. And um, I think she took it personal how I took it out of the last game. So I knew she was going to come with, you know, being more aggressive. And, you know, we're going to compete every night. Every time we play each other, we're going to compete. And, um, you know, they got the win. And you win some, you lose some. Um, we got another one on Sunday. So it's really just flip the page and let this one go and just worry about New York. Thank you.